I'm grabbing my laptop so that I can read my notes. Welcome to episode three. We are going to be discussing navigating the aspirational gap. But before we dive into the details, I want you to imagine a scene from a classic movie that many of you might be familiar with, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. If you are a part of my international community, this is a American made movie, which I'm sure plenty of you have seen, but if you haven't, that's okay. Do you remember the scene where Indiana Jones has to cross a massive chasm to reach his target, to reach his goal? At first, it looks like there's no way across. A gap so wide, it seems impossible to cross. Indiana Jones is standing on one side with everything he's been working towards on the other side. He's faced with what seems like an insurmountable challenge. And in that moment, the solution is unclear. But then, in a moment of sheer faith, he takes a step forward into what appears to be thin air, only to discover the path was there all along hidden in plain sight. That right there is a powerful metaphor for the aspirational gap, the space between where you are now and where you want to be. It's that daunting distance between your current reality and your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations. And just like Indiana Jones, you might find yourself standing on the edge of that gap, feeling overwhelmed and unsure as to how to move forward. You see the other side, but the way to get there isn't immediately clear. In fact, you may feel hopeless. You may have already thrown in the towel. So what is the aspirational gap? It's the distance between where you are now and where you aspire to be in your career, in your finances, in your personal growth, and even your sense of purpose. It's that chasm that often feels too wide, too deep, too impossible to cross. And for many men, this gap can be a source of deep frustration, anxiety, and even despair. It's easy to look at where you are now and compare it to where you wanna be and feel like this journey is just too difficult to even try. The aspirational gap which by the way, I got from my John Lombard, it isn't just about wishing for more money or a better job, though those can certainly be a part of it. It's often much deeper than that. It's about the man you aspire to be, the life that you want to live and the legacy that you want to leave behind. When the gap between your current reality and aspirations feels too wide, it can be paralyzing. You might start to doubt yourself, question whether you're capable of achieving these goals or wonder if your dreams are worth pursuing at all. And men wonder if they are up to the task. So here's where the analogy comes full circle. Just like Indiana Jones standing on the edge of the chasm, many men look at their aspirational gap and freeze. They see the distance, they see the challenges, and they either stand still, unsure of what to do next, or they turn to distractions like drugs, alcohol, excessive gaming, withdrawing from relationships and responsibilities, or even um, promiscuous sex with random women. And while these distractions might provide a temporary relief, they don't do anything to close the gap. They often make it wider because there's more you have to come back from. It's like trying to ignore the canyon instead of finding a way to cross it. But here's the truth. Closing the aspirational gap starts with acknowledging it. That's step number one. It starts with looking at that canyon and deciding that you're going to find a way to cross it no matter how difficult it might seem, no matter how intimidating it might be. 
It's about taking that leap of faith like Indiana Jones and trusting that as you move forward, the path will reveal itself. This is the essence of the aspirational gap. It's not about reaching your goals. It's actually about the journey to get there. And I know that's really annoying to hear. Now, let's explore why it's so crucial to have an, a substantial aspirational gap. If your aspirational gap isn't significantly larger than your relational gap, which we discussed in episode two, um, you're likely to find yourself feel it, feeling unfulfilled. You might even settle for a life or a partner that truly doesn't align with who you are or who you want to become. This is why it's important to set worthy goals for yourself and to get clear on your dreams and to actively work towards those dreams. When you have a clear vision of where you want to go, you're not only motivated to close the aspirational gap, but you also start to close the relational gap naturally. It just happens automatically. So when you're focused on your aspirations, you make consistent progress towards them. You become more confident, more grounded, and more action oriented. This energy is just attractive not just to potential partners, but to everyone around you. The right woman, the one who is also on her very own path, will be drawn to your commitment, your drive, and your dedication to becoming the best version of yourself. She'll recognize that you're a man who is not just walking the path, but someone who is actively working to build a future. But what happens when you're not clear about your aspirations? When your aspirational gap is not clearly defined, it can lead to frustration, dissatisfaction, and even resentment. And it leads to a large gap, a relational gap between you and women. You might find yourself drifting through life, unsure of your purpose, settling for less than you deserve, being in complacency, and not even trying. This is why it's important to take the time to clarify your goals, to understand what you truly want out of life, what your values are, and to create a roadmap for getting there. You might be thinking, this sounds great, but how do I actually do it? How do I start to close the aspirational gap when it feels overwhelming? The answer is simple, though not easy. It starts with taking small and consistent steps. It's about getting clear on your goals. That's number one, breaking down your big goals into manageable pieces and tackling them one at a time. Remember, you don't have to leap across the entire canyon in one go, unlike Indiana Jones. <laughs> Start with your first step and then the next and then the next. Over time, those small steps add up to big progress. And another key element in closing your aspirational gaps is surrounding yourself with the right people, people who will support your goals, who challenge you to grow, and who see and believe in your potential. That is so important. And if you don't have that kind of a community right now, set that goal for yourself and allow that community to be presented to you. This might mean seeking out mentors, joining communities of like-minded individuals, or even reassessing your current relationships to ensure that they are aligned with your aspirations. Ask yourself, what is your first step? Getting clear on your goals. If you already have goals, what is your next step from there? The journey across the aspirational gap isn't one you have to take alone and having the right support can make all the difference. And I help men traverse this gap and chasm for marriage. If that's something you're interested in, see the details in the description box. Before we wrap up today's episode, I want to leave you with this thought. The aspirational gap is not something to fear or avoid. It's a natural and necessary part of this life journey. It's the space where growth happens, where you're challenged to rise up above your current circumstances, to become the man you aspire to be. Embrace the gap 
Embrace the journey and know that each step brings you closer to the life that you want. Be inspired by your goals and dreams for marriage, to be a father, to be a husband. I want to thank you for joining me on today's episode of the Walking Path Podcast. I hope our discussion about the aspirational gap has given you some valuable insights and perhaps a bit of inspiration to start taking steps towards your goals. If you found today's episode helpful, please subscribe and share it with others who might benefit from this conversation. And as always, keep walking your path, keep making progress, and remember, you are never walking this journey alone. There are men who are also walking their own path, and there are women walking as well. I'll see you on the next episode.